guys, it's SJ. Happy Baby Name Monday. If you're brand new, welcome to the home of baby names here on YouTube. If we're naming a baby, um, you're going to hear some great names. If you just love baby names, culture, history, things from around the world, and lovely people, then do hit subscribe to join our community. I'd love to have you here to listen to all the name lists. I do them a bit differently because I do them by theme rather than like A to Z, so you get tons of ideas and everyone else joins in as well. So I did say on my community tab that I would be doing Scottish names today, but that's going to come up on Wednesday because I've roped in a Scottish vlogger to help me with it as so you can hear the pronunciation properly. So let me know if you can guess. Very popular Scottish vlogger who'll be doing that with me on Wednesday. So I jumped forward with my Italian girl name list, which I know everyone wants to hear because they're just such gorgeous, beautiful names. I'm gonna try not to say gorgeous and beautiful for every single one. <laughs> Wish me luck. I'm just gonna jump straight into the names. There's 10 here, there are some rare ones, there's some popular ones, there's some you may have never heard of, and they're all absolutely stunning. So the first one that I put on my list is Giannina. Giannina. I love this name. We've heard a lot of like Giovanna, uh, Gianna, or G Gianna, as you would say more in Italian. I'm going to try and get my pronunciation right. <laughs> I've done a little bit of listed. Um, but I love the longer form of Giannina. I've heard this on Netflix, Love is Blind, if you've watched that. Um, I absolutely love Giannina and I kept thinking about her name so much. And it's Italian me me mean, <laughs> it's an Italian name meaning God is gracious. Uh, so it's an absolutely beautiful one. It is unranked here in the UK at the moment but it's a derivative of Jane so if you've got a Jane somewhere in your family that you're also looking to um, honour uh, then it could be a great choice for you Giannina loads of nickname choices for it as well so funny thing about this list is all of these names are on an upward trend so I think Italian names are really of the moment of course a lot of them end in the A uh, which we love like Olivia Amelia all of those names and you're going to hear some more rarer options for those names. So a name we've heard for ages, been around for ages, but probably isn't on your list, is the name Bianca. So we can also say Bianca, which sounds a bit more like glamorous, European. Um, Bianca is a lovely, lovely name. It means pure, um, which is a great meaning for a brand new baby. And for me, I go straight to Bianca Jagger, 60s, 70s, hippie, Studio 54 type of vibes and ultra glam. So I just think it's such a beautiful, glamorous name. Uh, sounds so Italian, doesn't it? But it travels really well. And again, it's got that BB as a little kind of nickname, uh, Bianca. So it's not massively popular at the moment. Oh, I just looked up how many how many people are called Bianca and then I didn't even write it down. There were 110 baby Biancas last year and it is on its way up. So it's ranked at number 402 at the moment, but it could over the next say five, 10 years start sneaking in towards the top 100. Cause I think it's got tons going for it. It's also a Shakespearean name. There are two Shakespeare characters called Bianca. And bonus points, if you know the Disney character, Miss Bianca, where was she from? Uh, I know so many of you love Disney as well. So what do you think of it? It's sort of one that hasn't been on my radar for so long, but as soon as I saw it on this list, I was like, that is actually such a great name. So this name is more well known and more popular. It's the name of Sylvia. So I spelled it on screen with an I, because that's the Italian spelling, which isn't ranked at all actually in the UK, because we popularly use the Y. Um, so Sylvia with a Y, like Sylvia Plath, that's ranked at number 614. So it's still quite low actually. Um, and it's such a lovely name. We love these V sounds, like Sylvie, Violet, uh, Evie, Evelina, like my daughter. Um, so I feel like Sylvia could be making a really good comeback soon. And it's such an ancient Italian name. So Sylvia was the mother of Romulus and Remus who created Rome. So it's a real ancient Italian name. She was Rhea Sylvia. Um, so really steeped in history and a lovely link um, you know, to Italy if you've got those Italian roots, but one that really travels well. So what do you think of the name Sylvia? Do you link it as much to Italy as the rest? This next name is on a massive, massive Spike. I feel like I've seen it around a lot and it is Elena. So I feel in Italy they lengthen the A e and it's Elena, which sounds so pretty, but in British we probably more say Elena um, or Elena. But I think to make it different from the name Elena, you would say Elena probably more, but Elena is how it may be pronounced in Italian. 
this how many times can i say it um but obviously ellie is so popular so if do you have an elena and uh, let us know how you pronounce it if you can kind of phonetically write it below because that might be a thing that people will struggle with but with isabella being so popular with sophia and all of those being such popular choices you could find an alternative if one of those names has been pinched so storming up the chart i've heard this name so so often sorry the sun's just come out well um is the name valentina valentina i've heard it so much in like music groups over the last couple of years going with my little girl who's three now I've made friends who've chosen it Valentina it's just absolutely lovely um and it means strong and it sounds strong doesn't it it's kind of like that Valor Valentina Valentius um it's a great name and it's so Italian it goes straight to that kind of Italian sounds doesn't it it's got that the long the length to it ending in the A see this glamorous sort of side of the Italian names really getting popular around the world and it travels so well that name doesn't it this next thing is one I haven't had but looking it up it's at number 1083 in the UK but that is going up like a lot year on year and it's the name Ilaria it means cheerful and it is the Italian version of Hillary and I was thinking how much Isla is so popular and I think it's at number three in the UK at the moment it's on so many lists people send me um, and if you're thinking oh it's been pinched or is it just getting too popular then Ilaria could be a great option for you so as I said it is the Italian version of Hillary and it means cheerful or merry so who wouldn't want a name meaning that actually my last list was baby names meaning happy okay so there's only four babies named this beautiful name last year in the whole of the UK and that is Mirabella Mirabella. Bella is so popular, which obviously means beauty. Mirabella means wondrous beauty. <laughs> I can top your Bella. Mine is a wondrous beauty. Um, but also some people were linking it back to the Latin word for miracle, which is really lovely. Um, I think that we all look for those sort of meanings. So miracle, wondrous beauty combo with the gorgeousness of Mirabella is absolutely lovely. There's also a place called Mirabel Palace in Salzburg where they filmed lots of the scenes from The Sound of Music, which I should have known about because I absolutely love The Sound of Music. I've actually like sort of studied it. <laughs> <laughs> done a video about it um but i reckon i would have like had this name really high on my list because i love that connection to the two meanings the italian connection is absolutely beautiful um and the salzburg connection as well and yeah what a great name it's also a type of plum which i like as well i like everything about mirabella um so you could pack yourself a really unique one because there was only four baby mirabellas last year so keep it quiet but sneak it onto your girl list if you like it Next up is the Italian name. I'm going to have to really struggle to pronounce this one properly. Noemi. Noemi. So pretty. The reason I'm struggling is because my sister is called Naomi, um, which is still quite rare, more popular in the UK than Noemi. But this name is rising in popularity kind of globally. It's getting a bit of a global surge on at the moment. It's still only at number 1035 in the UK, but it's getting a lot of chatter. There's been a few celebrities called Noemi coming up uh, recently, and it means my delight. My sister's Naomi, and we always call her Mimi um, as her nickname, which I love. The next couple of names are very stylish. So Sienna, after the place, um, this is one of the most what recognizable names around me and Henrik loved this name it's at number 23 um because of the actress Sienna Miller this became super popular over in the UK when she was like our little it girl for a while it actually means reddish brown color which is really nice if I have that color link or delicate so Sienna is a beautiful one there's obviously lots of Italian cities I would love your ideas for Italian cities that make great names in the comments section so obviously there's Florence Milan um, and we just love to choose city names don't we so there's plenty out there so any rare ones you've got or ideas pop them below and the last name I've got a bit of a crush on it's my wild card but I love it again I'm going to check my pronunciation of it it's Miucha Miucha <laughs> am I saying that right see I thought it would be Miucia um, and this is the name of Miucha Prada so she's a hugely influential fashion powerhouse, basically from the Prada family. She was a business lead, um, so that sort of strong fashion connection. And then she separated from them and did her Miu Miu, Miu Miu <laughs> collection, which separated from Prada's headquarters. Founded that, so that's one we all know about as well. Um, Miu Cha. So I think with the double C, it means you do a stronger Cha uh, sound in Italian. Let me know if I'm correct. 
and it's a form of Maria. So Maria, again, sound of music vibes going on today. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a great name, isn't it? So if you've got a Maria in your family somewhere, or you love the sound of music, you can have a Mucha Mirabella. <laughs> <laughs> just go all out. Um, Mucha, what do you think of that? It's obviously hard to pronounce, but if you want something really steeped in that fashion of Italy and something really unique and special, it's up there, it works, it's unranked. So let me know what you think of those, my top 10 picks of Italian baby names. Do let me know yours in the comment section below. Sorry I switched around my order this week, um, but I will get you involved in the Italian baby boy name list, which will be coming up. I really wanna go around the world now. I've not done it for so long, like these different countries, baby names, but we'd love to hook up, like I'm doing on Wednesday with local vloggers. So do let me know below. What name is you would like to like? I know German's a really, really popular one. I know Spanish is a really popular one, a lot of the Nordic countries. But let me also know a local vlogger, if you're from those countries, who you think would love to team up with me to do the baby name list, because it would be great to hear it in their accent as well. Um, and I'll see you all on the next one. Please hit subscribe if you've watched one, two, three, or more of these videos and not subscribed. I hit 10 million views here on my channel this week. If you have watched and you've not subscribed, subscribing is basically like really helping me to get my channel out there and to continue all these videos that I make for free. So do consider hitting subscribe um, or inviting a friend to hit subscribe if um, you think somebody else you know would love this channel. And I will see you on Wednesday for Scottish baby names with my mystery vlogger pal. Uh, I'll see you then. Bye bye.